power. You know, you want to waste that util as much as you can. Try and stagger it as well. Jace is standing to get stuck in that gravity well. And it's going to be taken down by Pony with the Sheriff just through the toxic screen. What a great opening pick. The 5v4 situation. Plant's going to go down. Spike planted. Ugh. Spike is planted. Now this retake has to come through. It has to be pretty strong here, but it seems like Payton's even stronger. Going to be helped out by Decoff with that shock dart coming around and already leaving JMO by their lonesome with the shorty in hand. Uh, might just be able to get one here. It seems like none. Just some damage coming through. Going to be here. And the Trailblazer's gonna get info that two are in fact Ooh. in showers. Pony's just gonna dash in with a Spectre, take that concussion, take down another as well, and the 3v3 situation. Advantage still towards KCP considering their guns, but Pony able to grab that Vandal, gets a fourth, might be an ace on this round. Oh, no. Spike's coming down, Thief is coming around the corner with it. We do have some players surrounding themselves down in U-Haul, but TSM towards the B-Site. Trailblazer's gonna grab some additional information. Welcome to my Yeah, B-Site's gonna be the site that TSM wants to go towards. Payne's gonna drop that Viper stick down, and having that Viper stick down is gonna be huge. That's gonna take a lot of that side control, but Critical is gonna be able to take down Payan and that Viper's pick goes down with it. Undue Fury was actually doing a lot of work here, as I have to say. And right now, JMO's just come pick before grabbing left. the spike. I'm trying to wrap around a little bit. But not going to manage to take down Critical, though. That'll Nobody really knew what was going on outside of that pit, but I mean, Tony's just going in and trying to get these picks. It's not going to happen, though. It seems like the Hunter Fury's going to come through with some damage, but already GSM is just completely dominating. And this pick onto site. Robert is going to be coming into the hands of Tony, and that's going to be looking pretty deadly for the side of... KCP. One enemy remains. Everybody's just falling at once. It was really hard to even keep that. I really like that they're switching things up round and around. Again, keeping KCP mm -hmm. guessing. Lots of free fires are going to go out here. Aggressive Viper, like you said, just waiting to get the information on Critical, shooting them through the poison uh, cloud. But JC Stanny's going to reply to that kill. Get don't give in to that rotation too early, but right here, Tony might just be able to get one. But Thief is watching right around the corner. Although this is good! I mean, Pony kind of distracted the opposing side, and now it seems like JMO is just wavering around here. Never mind, this rotation is coming through pretty quickly already for the side of KCP, and it seems like Precision is currently good for one, possibly good for another. So it is 13 seconds, they have to get this spike down for TSM. And now it's just the waiting game. One enemy remaining. Oh, the aggression. One enemy remaining. Ooh. Yeah, confuse or play this lurk coming through. As we can see already, we do have two players on the side of PSM trying to at least get a lurk through, but it seems like Pony's gonna be taken down. It's Payton trying to get this Viper's pit out. Oh, Payton don't get downed. It seems like oh. Payton's not gonna get down just yet, though. Uh, it is just a blood path coming through onto the A site. And right now, the Hunter's here trying to do some damage, but uh, it is going to do just enough. The cop's going to be taken down, and having that Sova uh, taken down so that that util can't be exposed. Uh, it, it is now just it's a 3v3 with only two players on PSM having a slither of health to be working with. Not too much health to be working with, but they are going to go for that heal, I believe. Outside Chars, maybe rotate over a little bit, play this angle pan. On site on their own, but has those one snake bite available just to slow that push in. JMO's still stuck on that operator as well. No, I'm oh, guiding light coming out and Thief is coming out with it. Yeah, it's it's just looking like Zeke might just ZK might just not be able to do much here. It's possibly getting one and maybe Ooh, I was about to say maybe if they can cancel this defusal. Right now it is looking like a nice rotation is coming down A from the side of KCP and already V did gonna be able to take out the one. Oh, JC's oh standing. no! Oh, I, I don't know how well this is gonna fare out right now for TSM. I mean, that's pain. Oh, he's able to get two here, especially with that Molly, that snake bite coming down. Oh. Cutting sound at A. D Cop, it would have been a bit too long to try and get over towards B, and they are in Ten fact rotating left. towards the B site. Critical? Last on A by themselves. They have that recon. But, oh! Spike down. The battle eight. between the Sovas critical is gonna go. There is some presence here. 
Oh, there's a it's flight coming out. Uh, Double yeah. pack, actually. Perfect. Oh, and as you say that right there, right Critical is going to be traded off. It was a nice, it was a nice two pick. Okay. Out. They're expecting for JC Stanny to be there as well, managing to grab Decop while they are in the Owl drone. Huge picks here. If JC Stanny can get control of the spike, it's not going to happen. DK could better ask for in this situation. JMO aggressively sitting a short, getting that pick on Pony's hand. Uh, all of that jet utility online as well, and right click is going to miss. One enemy remaining. Moon right there, Pony is going to be able to get one. It is going to be TSM having the numbers advantage and 30 seconds. Elbow there, there's... Oh, it's just... Oh, this is hard! JMO has no idea that there are two players of TSM down in elbows, and I mean, already blocking Sight might just be able to get this down half, but once that smoke goes down, two players are gonna be watching around the corner, and that KCP is trying their best to be able to get onto the site, but I don't know how well that's gonna fur out as this flank comes through, it does seem like already KCP is getting as many picks as they possibly can in this pistol round to close this off, but I'm Ash, the flank coming along might just be huge, I mean, Tony, about to peek around the corner. Oh, and right there, it, it's just cancelled. It doesn't matter. Really ready for it. So many pills through cover are going off as well, but a great shock dart taking down we did from Jacob. We are, you know, in this 2v4 situation. Not counting anyone out yet, yet, but Precision will be taken down by JMO Jacob. They're trying to get elves. So, KCP is definitely looking to tie it up here and Gravity well. It's gonna slow that showers push a little bit. We're gonna have that show once we're getting that early info and JC Stanny with quite the swing. One down. Blocking sight. Blocking sight. No more I can only keep up coming through. It's gonna work out pretty well as we have it. Precision's gonna get one through the wall and some information coming through for that retake. Although nobody was seen down the wall, JMO is going to be remaining. surrounding themselves. It is a three man retake and KCP's. Uh, I don't know how well this is gonna fare out. Critical did try to peek. I, I like what's happening here. They're trying to wait a little bit later in the game to be able to push through, but it seems like oh. it's not gonna happen. Precision is going to have precise. Gunplay here. And just as that goes through, Payne got some information there with that drone, knowing that they're possibly gonna be pushing up down hookah. It's not, I, I don't even know what to say anymore. Precision is. We did. And the other member of KCP are gonna be going for this save for either you know, those aggressive pushes out that we like to see or retakes as well. And Critical is gonna actually get the first pick off. Oh. Yeah, TSM just trying their best to be able to hold on to a site. And we do have a flank coming along. Uh, but I don't know how well that's gonna fare out, especially since the bloodbath's already happening down in showers and D-Cop's doing all the work here. It is a 1v1 and that Seacrest is gonna be coming out to give out some of that information. And this is gonna be huge. Oh, it's just a battle of the utility at this point. Uh, that three fight did some pretty good damage, but Payne's gonna do even more if that- Match point. Can't be feeling too great right now, I mean... Set up with those nebulas, provide a little bit of cover as well, and that flash guiding light is going to go out, but taken down in the nick of time, Pony's able to grab one, but Critical is going to answer with a kill of their own, a lot of damage out left. on KCP right now, it looks like TSM is itching to close out this round, Spike has yet to be planted. Night Viper's Pit, we're going to see a second Viper's Pit come out today, but this time from KCP. Uh, I mean, it is a three-man reason to be able to take out. We did, but we did. It's ten just going to go for this left. rotation here. There's ten seconds. Uh, the Viper's Pit is going down, and there is no more utility. No. Yeah, it, I mean, yeah, I, I actually have to agree with you. That is an interesting plan spot. I, I guess they're trying to at least eliminate uh, anybody walking past, but it, it's just not going to happen. TSM is, in fact, going to be taking this into sight, especially for those default plants, to be able to get the use off, but it's gonna be a jet battle on top of green here. JMO is gonna tailwind away for their life at the moment, and so largely a straight B hit. Moon right there already. The 
Pretty hard push coming in. I don't know if this is exactly where TSM wants to be pushing just yet, but as it goes, they're waiting, trying oh, to get God. this pick to at least try to eliminate Silence. the players on the side of KCP, but just as I say that, Critical is going to get a really nice shock dart down. I think the shock darts are actually really helpful, especially on these pistol rounds, since there aren't any shields to be given. So the shock darts could be doing a lot of damage. They could be doing a lot of damage. The noise has been cut. On the side of TSM. Oh, one step was just made though, so Thief is gonna hear that. Let's, uh, let their team know, and you see the perturbation is being called from the A site. Tigwell is gonna go up Precision, able to get that spike planted. Four v three, could be anybody around. Player standing. One already. Oh, and he's gonna get that nice three k down. Uh, as Spike is going down, the time is dwindling, and Wendy. I, I kind of believe we did not Wendy. <laughs> Definitely thinking, okay, there's no way they're going to come towards A. They're not going to take that aggressive, you know, belt. They don't have the guns for it. And oh, Reed is just hasn't given them too much more information as far as things go. And there's an aggressive crossfire here. Right here. Through A main. And I don't know if TSM's going to expect that. The plane's uh, wrong. They're expecting it. Now, I mean, that drone is coming out with information. Oh, and that's really nice. That drone being able to spot. Oh. JMO in just a split of a second, it's gonna allow that you know, jet to be taken down. But it feels like already ACP is just uh, it's just gonna be an annihilation coming down onto a site. Of course, I mean what can you do? Already being pulled towards B, but waiting for that Viper poison cloud to go off Ooh. before actually hitting the site. We did is getting really nice picks. I I mean we did playing for their life. You said it you said it before, they were kind of waiting around and that's how uh, we did get, in fact, Pony out. Down, B. A nice one tap on the head. We did just completely enough. Viper's toxic screen to come up, provide that cover to retrieve it. I'm not sure if they're gonna commit to this. Oh, Pony though is gonna Ooh. open up the blade storm, <laughs> take down one, get another off kill off. But TV2 situation, ZK still needs to plant the bomb. Oh, come on. It was looking pretty nice there for ZK, but Shamo just has the enemy players on KCP Here. making the rotation bot. But it's going to be a largely a mid play. That alarm bot though is going to give that early information to JC and the nano is going to slow the push through the as well. But it's like down it's in the hands of KCP and TSM really has to figure out a way to be able to at least try to eliminate as many players as possible. It is a three D. You can jet a Viper and Silva on one side of the He's gonna come out and it's oh! gonna be a here! And this is gonna be huge! Like, ZK is by themselves as this Viper's kick comes out in the hopes of the game. ACP is still no there! It already! What in the world it was? And maybe a precision play from the back here, they might just be able to at least utilize that resurrection to the best of their ability. It's coming through for Pony, and that's going to allow them to be able to back out here really quickly, but Jamo with the Operator is just kind of unstoppable. I mean, at this point, you got to be careful. Use some of that utility to at least kind of hold that Diffuse, and as the Diffuse goes down, this is standing. it for TSM. The cop can't really do anything about it, just waiting and holding with this op to try to at least get some prize. Pan has taken on top of two here, trying to get off of a rest of angle with the operator, and he did, is going to fall back. Pan's good for one, taking down JC Stanley. Good for the trade. Oh, we did thinking about it. Oh, <laughs> I, this is looking pretty scary. I mean, I 30 seconds left. Oh, yeah, 30 seconds. It, TSM has to be able to at least get the spike down here in this time, but. I mean, on a map like Icebox, I do have to say, going in for this really, really late plant is going to be hard, especially since all KCP has to do is use some that you can dump it down and kind of refuse that plant. So at this point, DSM just has to be playing for this. Uh, honestly, for these picks at this point. Yeah, there's no way Spike's going to be down. They can't win the round out. I mean, you also saw Thief was on that flat stack towards the A site at the moment. Plus, Pan's just waiting, making sure no pushes come through, but Thief's actually gonna take him down. I feel like I'm seeing a lot left. more... I'm seeing a lot more technicality going to the plays of KCP. Oh! They're playing together really well, and, and then JMO with the Operator is just being able to take down those players as it is, but right now... Yeah, Stanny's just gonna be taken now. This is gonna allow Pony to possibly. Nope, not gonna go for, you know, that lockdown just yet. 
We did is on the other side though. It is a 3v3. That spike is down. So all pony after will be able to at least defend as much as possible. But there is a lurk for him coming around pony. And we did just oh. and, yeah, just taking down pony as it is. One enemy remaining. Uh. Precision. And another. I, I, Ash, this is, this is looking pretty scary. Yep, yeah, it, it's not it's not gonna go towards. He is not allowing anybody to be able to peek we did until, you know, Right, oh, oh. And never mind, as I say that, Pony knows exactly where we did's gonna be hiding here, and they do have, uh, they do have a really nice chance. I mean, three players only on KCP. Uh, they could possibly get this bike down here, but they just have to be careful. There's somebody sitting right around the corner waiting for that spike to be planted. Pony is going to be able to take that out, though, and as this goes down, it's, it's just planted. a battle as to winning this time around. Spike goes down just as that squirrel and worm watch. is actually, uh, or, no, the other Hunter series is going to connect with a few players, actually. It's going to be 5v5 situation. <laughs> but Thief with that aggressive angle already pissed up a main managed to take down Pony. Resurrection is going to come through. I, I didn't see that a lot. But we're finally going to be able to see it. Seems like Thief is going to come through, be able to get that 4k down, and JMO is just going to close this off. And then I, I think at this point, the best take for TSM is to at least let Hayen play with the team here. Being able to get that first take, though, is going to be pretty nice playing into their hands. Uh, it is a 4v4 now, but Sova on the side of TSM. Uh, does really only have 15 health to be working off of, but it's it's really nice. It's really nice to have that sage in hand there for that heal. That it is indeed, and Spike has been placed down. The Nano Swarm going out a little bit early. Right there, it's just a battle for this retake. And Spike it is oh! down at this point. They really need to start trying to get Spike defused. Uh, case. Drones coming through. Everybody from KCP is through, but surprisingly, there are four, three members I believe of TSM who stayed behind, and friends are gonna go out everywhere. Oh, Decop! <laughs> it was looking really scary there for Decop for a second, but the moment Decop says it, it's just gonna be an annihilation. Already one enemy remaining. Payin. Oh, it, it's it's just gonna go down. I I do want to see a little bit more of. I I do like. Uh, that Hayden was playing it pretty safe there, trying to get that spray down. Run. But already, we do have a lockdown coming out. It could possibly, it, it is going to be uh, backing up the players of DSM. This is going to be a free take onto site for KCP here. And as that lockdown goes down, it seems like so do the players of TSM. They're dropping like flies, peeking these angles that they probably should. Oh! It seems like Pony's going to be able to get two here, not the third. And as we bring this down, we're going to see Thief versus Chamber. Yep, and, and Thief is just gonna take that. It, it didn't really do much. I, I, I kind of like, but also hate how TSM is. Just, oh, oh my gosh, Pony, I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna seriously stop what I was thinking here. Pony just completely dominated with that 2K there, and that's gonna really help out TSM. But I was gonna say, they have a lot of reliance towards A, knowing that KCP, you know, they, they go towards A a lot of the time here. But I like the staff rotation coming in. I was gonna say, that might not be able to save the situation of whether or not KCP goes over to the site, but as it is, having that fast rotation come down, it did help. In fact, but it is a 1v1. Viper versus Viper Ash. We're gonna have to see who might just be the better Viper. I have the spike. <laughs> oh, oh. Z cape himself down A. Oh goodness. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna be a pretty, pretty fast round that's gonna happen here. Do you see that coming out? That's possibly gonna be able to do something, but KCP Thief is just gonna be Five coming through, and right now TSM is trying to hold on to the site as much as they possibly can, but what can you do when you only have a little tiny thread to hold on side? Right now, Precision. Good. Actually, Precision just kind of popped off here with that Sheriff. Precision did pop off with the Sheriff. JC going for that fake spike plant just to they draw out some information, but TSM Academy, they are gonna be playing their lives here, playing with each other, maybe waiting to see if... I'm not sure how much longer until the heal. I know that Precision just used it um, just now. The Resurrection's actually gonna come out. Oh, that's huge for Precision there. 
Yeah, that's a spike is taking. This is going pretty well. TSM is finally, you know, that information. Yep, information. It, it is coming through on mid, but KCP. Ooh, and they're just getting the picks down mid. It, it's looking pretty rough for the side of TSM at this point. And the moment the rifles come out for KCP, they just completely dominate. Of course, last round was a safe round, but this round Welcome doesn't matter. Viper Spit is coming out, and already a lot of the control of sight is being given over to KCP. So free. And I mean, like I said, too much, too much hold being given over to a site. And then remaining. you have a lot of this rotation coming through late rounds, and I mean... It's ticking down. Not quite enough time to clear everything. Able to get that Viper offline, but the Nano Swarms are just gonna deny the defuse. JC Stanny closed. We really might be going to overtime. I mean, the Empress is available. We are one away from the Blade Storm. However, here it comes out. We're seeing a lay it looked like an aggressive push in the beginning, but it seems like it's just going to be one pick coming out from A and, and right now another one from D. I, I mean, TSM being able to get those two picks is huge. Now this retake is going to be even bigger, but the the question at that is, I mean. Try not to get picked off <laughs> at this point. It, it's at the point where if you get picked off and you lose that one player, it might just be one of those domino effects where you lose multiple. But at this point, this retick onto site is going to have to be heavy and it's going to have to be huge. Ooh. Already coming through. KCP, there, it's just it's the domino effect like I was talking about previously. Already multiple members of TSM are being let out. KCP is fighting for their lives and already ZK being left with a slither of health to be working off of and this is going to be huge. Decision having a nice flank here. That's going to be leading a 1v1. 33 health and the spike is already taking. It's not looking like it's going to go in TSM's favor. Fared very well for, you know, kind of allowing the dislow <laughs> from TSM pushing out the garage here with that guy light. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a bloodbath here. I, I, KCP completely read into that, read into possibly a player, you know, seeking out through Garage, but as it is, it seems like multiple players were just pushing through, and that really did play one well into remain. KCP, but as it is, it's gonna be leaving one player on the side of TSM by themselves, and Pony, not gonna be able to create any magical, any magical moves today, it's just gonna go towards this KCP being in the first round. Oh, Critical's watching out here. They know that this aggression is going to be coming through from TSM. Uh, but the situation at hand is when, and right now, already Critical is going to be taken down. But, I mean, they have the upper hand here, especially with KCP having these specters. And this is the moment. <laughs> what can DK do, especially one with enemy this remaining. shorty? Already one enemy remaining. Give the eight. Might get the timing off here if Thief decides to look away. Yeah, that ace is coming God, through for really Thief. It's the first really the dismiss to get out of some sticky situations, but it's going to be another aggressive pick towards the deep site, but a bit early on this time around. Oh, oh and Pan's going to get those kills mid. through the smoke. Oh, the spray down with the utility. And I mean, I'll iterate it on it later, but right now it seems like Jay Stani, Jay C Stani is going to be able to get a little bit more aggressive up onto the site, playing that figure, that duelist figure that you need in order to create some space there, but I don't know how well this is going to fare out. Two players on the side of KCP really do have a little bit of health to be working with here in A and having, oh, they, the bullets right now at the perfect time there, the criticals right around the corner, and Ian knows exactly what's going on, and we might just be able to see a second ace come into play, but we did is going to be able to shut it down, not going to let it happen. We might be able to see a clutch here coming out from we did as that one tap comes through. KCP, if they pull this together, this is going to be intense for TSM. Those nanoswarms are still available as well, but throwing them will give we did just waiting, oh. but Pony is ready for the peak. Asian push, possibly the jet. Oh. It's, it's a push comes through the garage, but I don't know how well this is gonna work. And Decop able to get three with this remaining. ultimate. Oh my, Decop just completely clutched up with the ult alone, and all that's left is Decop with JC Stani. Will Decop be able to clutch this up? That util is going to be extremely helpful here, Ash. But as this cosmic divide comes out, how well can Decop? Oh, <laughs> through the wall! TSM is. I, I don't even know. Oh no. 
here we go. This is it. I, I, I mean, TSM knows a lot of mid control is being taken from KCP majority of the rounds, but <laughs> honestly, JC Stani is just having a hard time right here with the classic showdown. <laughs> it's just going down. I don't even know what's going on this round. It's a run and gun feud. I, it's just the party with the run and gun at this point, and I don't, I honestly, the sight switch might just be a mistake if four seconds to go down. The spike is not able to get through, and right now, all that needs to happen is paying. I'm just waiting. Done on their part. Um, but Pony's actually going to answer with that initial operator pick, just to maybe shut things down for KCP a little bit. No, and Pony's just spiked down. That's really a bad thing, but it hasn't been working out. And he caught. Not able to get one in this situation, unfortunately, but does get the information for their team. Um, Pony's already on the A site, though, pulling up those blade storms. Oh, I mean, some damage is done, but I don't know how well that's gonna be uh, able to be used, but it seems like Pony only has an operator to be played oh! Looks like <laughs> Pony! Really good drone, but will it be able to even clear majority of the site? Oh, nope. Oh, it's gonna be a hunter spirit coming out instead, and Decob's gonna get a really nice one through oh, the down. smoke. And Already 3v3, a lot of the players are being right, traded yeah. out here. There's not a lot you can be working with the Decop. I, I do have to say Decop has been insane with the oh! shards, getting that damage in, and Pony. Watching around this corner, I don't know how easy or how well this is going to be to peek this, but deep with the wide swing, that's going to be huge, taking out the Operator as it is, and this retake is going to be a little bit harder for the side of DSM, but as that flank comes through, so do the hopes. Critical just pinched here, not blocking the back precision. He's gonna get that one kill and one v one situation. Trailblazer is gonna come out. Oh, that hawk! Oh, precision is going to be a little bit more precise with the gunplay. And we're very particular and very very technical in order to at least try to deny this five man retake here, Ash. Oh, oh. he's just gonna annihilate a pony, taking the operator offline here. 4v5 situation. A cosmic divide is gonna come out. Oh, and right there. He's just gonna be able to get one, but it's it's just gonna be a shutdown for Thief there. That hunter story coming out trying to at least get something through. But the spike is ticking, and right now there's a lot of sight control going over KCP. And remaining. as that it, it's just going down, KCP is just not gonna be able to, and ZK is trying to play some exit frags here. Only being able to get one. Yeah, this operator staying in the hands of ZK. I'm hoping maybe it's that economy cushion as you would normally see. So that is why you know, that save did have to come out. But a lot of opening picks already, leaving KCP just with three members going up C long. Oh, this is going to be a blitz attack coming out from KCP. And right now, ZK is denying it. So is everybody on the side of TSM. And. Right now, coming through for KCP just yet. <gasps> oh, and already a pick. Ability now, but I don't know if they're gonna go for an aggression here. Gosh, I think they're just waiting at this point for the picks, but TSM is just completely dominating in that factor. I like the Seekers that are coming out, getting that information a bit early on. You. You know, 45 seconds on the clock. Just trying to get a better read on what's going on. This decision's gonna keep down one and another, <laughs> as well as 3K. Could close it out with an ace here. Ooh, that 3k was actually huge, and now we're gonna see two shot starts coming out from Critical. It is one player standing. Critical, I don't know if they're gonna be able to do anything and right through the crevice coming here for KCP. Or they know that this aggression is coming through, and they're kind of canceling it down. Already, Steve is doing pretty well here, able to get that overview oh, up. Remaining. Oh, and right there, one enemy remaining, and KCP might just be able to close this out. Critical is not gonna be peeking too heavily here. Trying to at least get some damage. Precision. 30 seconds left. Actually gonna try and bait their positioning towards C-Long, but KC- A really smart decision here. Uh, now they're gonna go over towards c site, but we have a really nice angle being held here by Thief, and taking that one pick down, it is going to be huge. Losing that Sentinel to at least watch the Lurker. If anything, use that utility uh, for that post-plant positioning. Thief is just completely dominating though, and right now might just be able to get another down, another impossible in one <laughs> and it is to be- The Owl Drone is gonna come up with yeah. some information, didn't check the smoke though, and not that anyone is playing in it. Oh, that's a really, really nice, I have to give it to KJ, that was an extremely good molly coming down, but Payne is gonna be eliminated. KCP has been doing extraordinary at holding the sights, and I mean, C-Sight being that iteration that keeps coming for TSM! 
but mm -hmm. by the shock dart. Ooh, and that spike is going down, but what we did was watching along the corners. I mean, TSM definitely does not think anybody's going to be peeking through that cosmic divide there. Oh, it is looking pretty rough already. A lot of aggression coming out from KCP as they try to get this defusal down. We do have one flank coming along, so KCP might just be able to have this in their pockets as it seems, but Pony and Precision playing together pretty well here. We did it to get shot through the wall. He definitely had a disadvantage here, but going to be this aggressive take on to C site. Well, he's going to grab one for themselves and a wall bang as well. Yeah. Walk those both lockdowns are going to be forced out. Pony, just annihilating through these smokes. <laughs> this is a this is a very nice graph we have here. What is yeah, that? Yeah, a is Venn diagram. <laughs> diagram. We have a cute little Venn diagram coming along. I I am terrible with vocabulary. You guys can probably tell in the chat, but. Precision is trying to get some information out, and KCP honestly, oh, it, it's looking rough as Pony taking this lead. It's feeling a little bit more like that bind get info is able to call that rotation back for their team. But Payne's got a great work taking down Jason Stanny. Oh, and it's already going through. Already a 3v3 right here as it is, and... Pony watching around the corner. It is the plant is going to be going down, and we do have this retake coming through, but Decop is by themselves, oh. and Thief, Thief is going to have to be probably one of the leading factors, here, especially being that Reign of Fragger, but Critical might just be able to clutch it up with that information given. Pony, though, has a really, really nice flank coming along here. Might just be able to take out Critical. And there is one pony that's gonna be peeking long here, but we did is going to eliminate that as soon as possible. And right now, KCP taking this down rounds in the early stages. Right now is the time where KCP is completely feeling themselves. And Jamo with the op, we're gonna have to see that come out because Pony is trying to bring in the heat as well. Mm -hmm. I think if TSM wants to close the round and comes through, it's gonna give some attention. Precision, though, is going to get that flash out. But that information is given. Now we're going to have a cosmic divide for an aggression. Divides are coming out, both of them, this time around. And we're going to be met with this 4v5 situation. KCP has the read and is going towards C. And the trade's going out in Garage. And the lockdown's going to come out as well. Oh, as that lockdown comes down, this becomes huge. Right now, Thief has to be able to frag out here before anything can happen, and we did is being left by themselves, but there is 13 seconds to get that spike down. We did might just be able to take this to overtime, but we have to be careful here, Ash. It is a very dangerous territory that we did is stepping into, and right now is the time. We have to be careful as these angles are being held, but right now, as it is, we did 